Hello viewers, hi, so I am Zahur Islam, so once again, so welcome to my new lecture. Uh, today I will teach you uh, about the uh, safe and unsafe drugs during pregnancies. So uh, all of you know better that drugs are teratogenic only at specific times during embryogenesis. Teratogenicity is a condition when any drug or a chemical substance which produce deviation or abnormalities in the development of embryo. Therefore, to avoid such a problem, so it is very important to know which drugs should be prescribed during pregnancy. So, Food and Drug Administration of America enforce the rule for the categorization of the drug that is contraindicated during pregnancy. So, a classification has been carried out is the following. So, now look at here, uh, you can see here uh, it has been categorized into uh, different classes. So the first one is category S. So category S control studies uh, show no risk or find no evidence of harms. While the category V is animal studies show no risk but there are no control studies on the pregnant women. Category C animal studies have shown risk to the fetus. There are no control studies in women or studies in the women and animals, they are not available. While category X studies in animals or humans being demonstrated fatal abnormality or there is evidence of fatal risk. So the drug is contraindicated in women so who are it may be pregnant. Uh, category N is uh, another one that is uh, FDA has not yet specified the drug in this category. Uh, most important thing is that, um, as we know that, that the uh, drugs used during pregnancy. The drug used during pregnancy, pregnancy can affect the effectiveness of medication. So during pregnancy, the blood volume increase and also the kidney and heart workload increase. So medication during pregnancy is important for the needs like diabetes, seizure, depression, anxiety and other medication conditions. Also some in common discomfort such as heart bones morning sickness or headache during pregnancy the transfer of drug occur through placenta or simple diffusion facilitated diffusion activated transport or penocytosis and depends upon on the following factors so it is very important to uh, note down so you can see here so the first one is physical chemical nature of the drug it means that a drugs uh, having molecular weight less than 400 so it can cross the placental barriers faster and very easily. Role of placental tissues so during pregnancy placental thickness decrease while surface area increase and however the permeability is not affected. The placental blood barriers so the rate of passage of drug across the placenta depend upon the maternal and the, and the fetal placental flow. Okay, so now come to all the safe drugs. Uh, these studies uh, have been uh, taken from uh, various literature. So as uh, you can uh, see on my screen, the safe drugs, so there are various drugs which are uh, separate and can be used for the treatment of ailment during pregnancy, such as uh, the drugs they are also discussed in table one. So inshallah, I will explain it step by step. Analgesic drugs are used to combat the pain like paracetamol, pethidines, endomethacine, aloferonols. They are frequently used in analgesics which are, con which are considered safe during pregnancy. Now let's see here. Uh, this is okay. Now uh, paracetamol. So paracetamol. So the chemical name of paracetamol that is acetaminophen. So acetaminophen has been considered as a separate drug for pregnant women to reduce fever and alleviate the pain than an insane drug such as aspirin ibuprofen. So it was found that there is no fatal abnormality which was observed in the study performing rats, rabbits, and dogs up to ten times the human dose. But pregnant women who use pain reliever may, uh, may be at a higher risk for asthma and behavior problems and attention deficient disorder according to the preliminary research. Another one is pethidine, so that is also called mepridine. This drug crosses the placental body and causes delayed respiration in newborns which can be resolved by using naloxones. 
so it is also it is a safe uh, narcotic analgesic which can be given at the first stage of labor six to eight hours before delivery uh, another agent that is called endomethacine so endomethacine is another drug so it is the best agent during pregnancy so it doesn't have any fatal and maternal effect so it is used to treat chronic arthritis in connective tissue disorder another drug is allopharynol so allopharynol it also you you may say so it also belong to you can say uh, different drugs like so it doesn't have any effect on the fetus you know allopharynol is uh, <coughs> used uh, in the treatment of gouts so it doesn't have any effect on the fetus so it reduces the uric acid and the body and is used to treat gout and kidney stones so it also come under the getigrap uricosoric drug uh, this is the uh, chemical structure of paracetamol so you can see here while the structure represent the pethidine so this is endomethacine the structure of endomethacine you can see here while this is aeroferonols and then you can see the bonding situation how the nitrogen and hydrogen are, so they are bonded with one another gastrointestinal agent so uh, GI drugs frequently uh, used during pregnancy to avoid digestion related complication as well as motion sickness so there are few G GI drugs which can serve during pregnancy so it can be shown in figure 2 Lexatio so you know that uh, lexato these agents are used in a patient suffering from constipation so as usually are uh, during uh, pregnancy so there are maximum chances of constipation so in order to relieve this condition so far no teratogenic or ad adverse fetal uh, effects are reported of these agents but its frequent use must be avoided during pregnancy as it interferes with the absorption of the fat soluble vitamins Antiemetic, so these are also the agents which inhibiting the uh, vomitings and these agents are proven safe for the use by the pregnant women in the treatment of you can say morning sickness which is the most common problem during the first trimester. Drugs like uh, doxylamines and pyridoxines, they are given in a combination for morning sickness. Antidiarials, uh, these agents are used to treat diarrhea, for example, choline along with pectin is um, medicinally used as an absorbent, so the chances of abnormalities in the fetus is not there. While the dicyclomines is the safest drugs which is used during pregnancy as an antispasmodic and has no teratogenic effect. Now let's see here, this is the chemical structure in figure 2. These are the gastrointestinal drugs which are safe in pregnancy. These are the two agents. One is doxylamines, while the second one is dicyclamine. So I think all these data uh, have been taken from the uh, mean uh, literatures or you can say from the different research articles. So you can see here, I think uh, this is very uh, easy to understand and during practice, uh, we should be uh, very uh, careful so whenever we are going to administer a drug to a pregnant woman. Uh, anti asthmatic agents, so during pregnancy, only a uh, few anti uh, asthmatic drugs they are safe, which include so ephedrine. So, ephedrine, we know that ephedrine, this is also safe during pregnancy, while aminophyrene, this is also, and as well as terbutaline. So, all these drugs, for example, let's suppose if a mother or a patient. Uh, a patient uh, having a pregnancy and as well as she is suffering from uh, asthma so you can use epidurine, uh, aminophylines and terbutalines so mean during pregnancy so uh, these are these drugs are safe Uh, and figure 3, so you can see ephedrine, so ephedrine, pharmacologically ephedrine, it is a sympathomimetic agent which causes the constriction of the blood vessels and widening of the bronchial passages and use 
to relieve the asthma and hay fever. So it is a safe sympathomimetic agent with rapid onset of actions. While another one is aminophylline. So aminophylline it is also no adverse enterotogenic effect. So it decreases the respiratory distress and the premature in pants. It is also indicated from the bronchial asthma and is non-toxic. So another agent that is terbutaline. Terbutaline is also used to treat the chronic bronchial asthma. So it is also used to inhibit the uterine activity in the second and third trimester used to manage the premature level and doesn't show any adverse effects. Now you can see here uh, these are in figure 3. These are anti uh, asthmatic drugs which are SAP and pregnancy. So it should be uh, noted here. So if you drink a SAP during pregnancy while amenopylene is also SAP and terbutaline is also. Now these are the structure activity relationships. So this is the chemical uh, structure of epidurine you can see. So Uh, now come to our antihypertensive agent. So the anti an antihypertensive agent, the safer antihypertensive drugs such as uh, methyl doper, hydrolazines, and uh, lidocan as discussed in Figure Four. So methyl dopa, so it is the it is an antihypertensive drugs. So methyl dopa it is also available in a market by trade name Aldomet. It is an antihypertensive drug. It is the first choice in hypertension during pregnancy. For, for example, a patient having pregnancy as well as hypertension. So I think this is the first choice you can use it. So this is SAP and pregnancy and it can cross is the placenta but doesn't affect the uterine blood flow and fetus. So it decreases the fetal wastage, increases the birth weight and length of gestations. Uh, another drug is hydrolazine. So hydrolazine it is also present in pox gloflant. Fox gloflant, you know, digitalis lineata and for for fever. So, like uh, digoxins and many more drugs, they they are extracted. So, it is used as a cardiac stimulant used to treat congestive heart failures. So, it has been found no adverse effect on the fetus. So, consider it is safe during pregnancy. Mean hydrolazine can be also used during pregnancy. Lidocaine, so it is another uh, agent which is used in cardiac arrhythmia, and it doesn't have any adverse effect on the fetus. Now, uh, uh, let's see here in figure number four antihypertensive drugs, safe in pregnancy, methyl dopa, hydrolazines, and lidocaine. So, this is actually the chemical structure. So, you can see here that uh, how this is uh, you can say hydroxyl group. These are the different position ortho, meta, and para positions, and with the how the number of atoms or the number of uh, elements. So, they are uh, bind with it. Now come to our uh, anti-tubercular agent. So anti-tubercular for the treatment of tuberculosis during pregnancy isonized. So it is considered the safe drug. Isonized. So this drug is used to treat the tuberculosis infection. So it doesn't have any adverse effect on the fetus and with the combination of vitamin B6 avoid the fetal uh, neural damage and other drugs like ethambutol, rifampicin is also safe to use. So I think this is clear uh, concept you can use uh, all these drugs uh, during pregnancy which are safe. Uh, anticoagulant drugs, so heparin is also known as anticoagulants and is used as safe drug during pregnancy to treat thrombolytic disorders or thrombotic disorders. Heparin, it is an anticoagulant which prevents the formation of blood clot. So it is used to treat the blood clot in arteries and veins. So it is a drug of choice. So during pregnancy, so it doesn't it doesn't show any adverse effect on the fetus. Uh, now in figure number five, you can see into tubercular anticoagulant drug which are set during pregnancy. So this is isoniazid, protein anti-tubercular agents, while heparin anticoagulant, while furosemide, this it belong to diuretics. So this is antihypertensive agents, while the heparin is you know, anticoagulant and isoniazid is anti-tubercular. So all these drugs are set during pregnancy. Uh, then come toward the diuretics. So diuretics are intended to use for increase in urine and commonly used to reduce the blood pressure and the hypertension conditions. So prosimides are furosemides. So it is a strong diuretic that is used in the treatment of edema. So it doesn't show any toxic effect, but it can cause hyponatremia and hypokalemia and unate. So it can be also used in other serious maternal and is like refractive hypertension when other drugs become unresponsive. Uh, 
inshallah in my uh, next lecture so uh, we will talk about the different type of miscellaneous agents which are safe or unsafe during pregnancy so inshallah it will be uh, also uh, discuss in detail the safe drugs and pregnancy and its side effects or complications which are reported here so once again thank you so much for watching my lectures so before uh, watching my lecture so kindly subscribe my channels and also press the bell icon for upcoming lecture so if you have any question regarding my lecture so i'm always available for your services and kindly uh, keep me in touch through my mail wish you all the best